Okay, so for if you're renting my Fleetwood, most of these bins are gonna be locked. Here's how you do the TV. It lifts up here. You put in this like so, and then you can hook it up to your Bluetooth. Here's the remote for the TV. You can scan the channels. Well, actually, here's the remote for the TV. You scan the channels. If you have any questions ever, please ask. You're never gonna bug me. <laughs> Would definitely rather have you ask than uh, not know something. We're gonna be here at the park, so here's all the electricity is all hooked up and the water. If there's ever a problem, please call us if you see something leaking or, but as of now, everything is set up. And I'm a phone call in a couple streets away and I can come and help. We've got this sewer closed right now, and that's how you do it technically for an RVer. And I'll probably come in two days. I won't even have to bug you guys, and I'll, from the outside, I can just drain everything for you. Because it gets full after you've taken a shower and stuff like that. So every, like, three days you might see me come here and do some stuff in the back. I won't bug you unless you want me to. <laughs> I do have a very nice carpet to put outside, but it blows away. Maybe I'll just put it underneath and you can take it out when you want it. Do not slam the door. The store can flip and lock you inside. I've had it happen. Don't mean to scare you, but there's the lock button. Just kind of keep it up. I won't even lock it unless you feel like you really need to. I wouldn't mess with that either. That's a lock too. This one be the only one that I would mess with if you're inside. Try not to mess with these locks because you could get locked in. And then the stairs are gonna stay out. I have it at uh, entry step to stay out. All the lights as you're leaving, push all lights. All the lights will go off. I'm gonna try to keep the door closed because it's very hot in Florida as you know. The lights are self-explanatory. Front ceiling, rear, that's your bedroom. Galley is your kitchen. Vent lids up or down. That means this right here. That will go up and down. But if you have the air running, this is how we control the air, the temp. I've got it set at 72 and it's having a hard time getting cooled in here. Cold, cold in here. So it'll cool down. We just got it set up. We have a recliner here. We have two kitchen chairs. I have a table I can put there if you'd like. I really wouldn't mess with anything in here, although the shades at night, you wanna do the blind. Watch this, you push, and you're gonna get lots of privacy. But I like to see out during the day. Please keep these down because it'll the sun will eat the dashboard. So then here's the black shade that goes that your privacy. So at night you'd want to do that. All of these windows have the shade for the sun and then the black shade for privacy. Just be careful, don't pull them too hard, blah blah, you know, so it doesn't uh, ruin them. I'd appreciate that. In particular, if you don't mind leave this shade alone it broke one day and my son had to try to fix it and it wasn't easy so the fireplace is nice just for you know aviance or whatever you want to do it's pretty self-explanatory you don't even need heat on off dimmer and you can put a timer on the fireplace so on is on Oh, apparently it's not working. There it is. Maybe the, the batteries are probably dead in here. So manually, you can do that if you'd like. Yep, the batteries must not be dead, or must not be working. So let's just do that. The um, I've already scanned all the channels for Zephyr Hills. This is the remote pretty self-explanatory. There is not cable here. These are your local channels, ABC for your weather. This goes to a Bluetooth. If you guys want to watch a movie because we don't have cable, it's here. 
pretty self-explanatory. Turn it on. You have to put the ooh, you have to put the TV on different source. If you have any problems with the fridge, please call. I'm not sure it's going to make ice, but it definitely has a beautiful, um, lots of space for freezer. The ice is questionable. It hasn't been working lately, the last trip we took. But it's a nice cold fridge. Everything's all set. And I have a brand new water filter. And you can get water. You can use the water from the tap. Oftentimes, we use this sink for just a counter. But you take these and you can put one on top of the other. Here's your red is hot to so put it down. Cold is this way. If you want to use the stove, this is kind of like a puzzle. So you go like this. And I put this right here. Then it's out of your way. Take the other piece off to use the stove. You make sure put on light and spark. Okay, and just make sure you turn it off so the gas doesn't run out. Then I always put these back. You don't have to if you want to find a spot for them. It's just like a puzzle. I'm doing this one-handed because my husband's not here but you want to get that in the groove and this is granite there you go the microwave is a convection oven also so push microwave you want to take all of the metal out when you use the microwave for the convection oven you can leave that in there I've cooked a pizza in here before and a lasagna and it did work but I mostly use the microwave, so push microwave first. Make sure you take these things out. I think you're going to find everything you're looking for. There's some extra bowls. I even have some tea in there if you want tea. Extra bowls, some tea in here if you want some tea. Then we have um, coffee cups. Just a couple of little wine glasses. Just look through here. You're welcome to use whatever. Uh, dishes. Whatever's up there. We have measuring cups. My silverware drawer is a mess. I do apologize. It needs to be straightened out. That drawer too. Oven mitts, towels. So we do have some salt and pepper here. Here's the coffee pot. I have half a coffee. I, I gave you half of our coffee. We just opened it, but we were about out. So I took half and gave you half filters. And there is one that goes on the stove. And then I just use this one. I plug it right here and it works fine. Okay, so now we have this sectional. It can go in. So this is how you do it. You lift, push this down, lift this button, and push it in. Okay, and you're done. If you want it back out, pull it out. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Okay, I can't. All right, so then this folds into a bed. We have our vacuum here. It's pretty self-explanatory. We got it plugged in here. To make the bed, you do remove this. It's not a big deal. Remove this. And then it goes back in there. There's spots right there for them to go. Here. And it will pull out into a jackknife. You pull up and this will pull out into a bed first bathroom also if you use toilet paper you got to use RV for boats and RV cost a little more but it helps our septic otherwise it can screw it up flush the toilet you just push this top light turns everything on vent lit up and down if you want that you don't need to use the water pump we've already got water for you king size bed the sheets are clean you have a TV and you can set the timer as well there's a timer um, on here somewhere oh sleep right there that's what I like to do 
most important thing of all is the bathroom thing. We have two toilets. It has to have this um, this button on. Please shut it off when you're done because it will run the pump. It is annoying. We we have we're, we get sick of it, but we're used to it now. But you have to have a green light, and then you can flush your toilet. When the green light, it'll turn red when it's pumping water. But at the end, when you're done flushing your toilet, turn that off. Otherwise, the pump will run and run and run. Shower is really self-explanatory. This goes up and down, hot water, cold water. And we do have some towels. They're not the fanciest, but you're welcome to use them. Help yourself to any cupboard space. I have a little cooler bag in here if you want to go to the pool. Um, I hope you enjoy your stay. We do have a table that goes way up front, right there in that little hole, that silver hole right there. Um, it's under the bed. So we, I don't have a bad back and my husband's not here. So we have to lift the bed, get the pedestal out and then put the top on it. We can do that for you if you'd like. There are extra chairs under this bed too. They're folding that go to the table. But I think you're gonna have enough space. There's three, four, five. So let me know if you need something else. You're welcome to use my blender. There's a pot and pan there, some seasonings. And then we have some pans down here.